Hello, everybody. It's Jay Funk. I've been playing Aug Evoker for the past few months, and in that time, I've experimented with a lot of different ways to display my presence targets. Uh, I've used weak auras, my favorite of which is Dave's clickable presence frames. But I recently saw the preheat video that combines Voodoo and Omni CD, and that inspired me. Uh, and despite preheat's best efforts to navigate me through uh, this hurdle, of uh, using Voodoo, I just wasn't into it. I don't like the Voodoo user interface very much. So I was looking for alternatives, and my good friend and guildy, Korg, told me about Cell. Now, Cell is a raid frame add-on similar to Voodoo, but it is significantly easier to use. And because recently they added the, the developer of this, which who is really great, added the spotlight frames, you can use it as for Augie frames. Now I'm using it here for party frames, but you can do different layouts. Now we'll uh, go, over, I'm gonna go over all the features this thing has and how to use it. Uh, but first, because as of recording this video, the Omni CD developer hasn't yet updated uh, the add-on to include the spotlight frames, we're gonna need to edit a Lua file real quick, but it's super easy to do. Okie doke, so you're gonna wanna navigate to your Interface, Add-ons, Omni CD, and Core folder, and open the addons.lua. I'll put the text down below so you know what I'm talking about. Then you're gonna wanna scroll down and try to find the line number of 88. Now I've already edited it here, but this is the, the text that you'll need to, Im to uh, paste into the file here, the, the closed brackets. Make sure you post it, uh, paste it underneath the cell raid, uh, but before the ash to ash um, lines. I'll put this down in the description below so it's easy to copy paste. But once you have done this and saved, now we can get back into the game. Okay, now that we're back in the game, I'm gonna go over cell. Now, if you open up the options menu by clicking this red rectangle here, you'll be meted, you'll be greeted with this uh, typical raid frame thing. Now, familiar, familiarize yourself with uh, the add-on itself if you want. Uh, I personally, am, this is my Mythic Plus layout. I'm using it as party frames. I have replaced the Blizzard party frames with this. Um, it's pretty great. There's, you can edit the appearance, you can add click casting for prescience and stuff. So if I click my frame here, it'll cast prescience on the target. There's layout stuff. The layout stuff's going to be important because you can auto switch based on the content that you're present in. So if I'm solo a party, it does Mythic Plus. If I'm in a raid, it does the Augie stuff. And you can customize this stuff. Also, there's an indicators. It comes with, it comes heavy with a lot of baked in indicators. You can disable or enable any of these. You can also create your own uh, indicators as well. I've created uh, a prescience. The prescience one is just a bar that I added. It's pretty easy. It's also raid debuff stuff and utilities, which I haven't really gotten into very much. I've only been using this add-on for like a few weeks. Um, but if you want to use this for raid, like raid tracking cooldowns, you're going to need to have a different profile for that. And make sure in that profile you are enabling the spotlight frames. This is the key, uh, a very important part of this, because we're going to anchor Omni CD to the spotlight frame to have to track the cooldowns. Alrighty, so I'm gonna do a raid here. I'm gonna try to find a seed group to kind of show you guys what is going on with this. There are no seed groups, guys. Anyways, if there were no seed groups, I'm just gonna join a random raid group to kind of show you guys what this could look like. Now, the one thing is, this won't show up immediately. Omni CD has like an initialization phase, uh, I've noticed, where it doesn't necessarily work immediately. It has to like load all of the cooldowns of every spec, and then it displays them. But you're kind of seeing here, I'm using, these are the, the default Blizzard raid frames here, and these are the spotlight frames. Now, the one thing I don't like about this add-on currently is you can't have a different profile for spotlight frames and for raid frames, which would be nice. If the if, if developer watches this, that'd be really nice to have, but I, it, that is a minor nitpick for me because everything else about this add-on is great. Now I'm gonna go over here to Doomwalker so I can try to load their cooldowns. I think I have to be in range of them for it to load. So give me a minute to do that. All right, now that we're in a raid group, you can kind of see how this is how this is working. So we have the spotlight the frame down here we can change who it adds to this frame because it's just taking the raid position of them. So to add 
So I'm going to delete all the people from the here, and then I'm going to go to options, and I'm going to click these little squares to open up the groups. Then I click this spotlight frame again. I'm going to click on the frame itself and drag. And if I do that, it'll add, it'll populate them into the spotlight frame, and it will Omni CD will only affect the spotlight frame, which I'll get into in a little bit here how to set up Omni CD with this. But as you see. You can see the individual cooldowns of all these people they put down here. And if they use it or not. Then you can click their frame to apply prescience to them. And it will track it there. If they use their cooldown, it'll tell you if it's on cooldown. It will also tell you if it's active or not. But that is, Omni CD is a little bit finicky there. Uh, another thing that's nice about this add-on is it has a pretty good export-import profile feature. So if you want to export a profile to share with people or import one, it's pretty easy. I'll uh, export mine uh, and put it down below, as, as well as my Omni CD profile. But as you can see here, you can see the monk, Stormwrath and Fire is active to buff them. But that pretty much sums up the spotlight frames. Uh, we'll, then we'll get into Omni CD. All right, now that you've set up your cell and your spotlight frames, you're probably wondering how to set up Omni CD to work with this. So you're gonna wanna do slash Omni CD Go to Raids, go to Position, and then on Add-ons, make sure that Cell Spotlight is checked. This will make it so that it only adds the cooldowns to Cell Spotlight. And then you can go through and add all the spells that you want to add. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's pretty much that simple. Also, make sure that you've edited the Lua file, as mentioned earlier in the video, uh, as of recording this video. I'm sure Omni CD will update at some point and it, you won't have to do that, but for now you will. So and that pretty much sums up how to use Cell and Omni CD. If you have any questions or comments or something, make sure to leave them down below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.